हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इडू केयर टू फोर सेवन दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर अवेयरनेस सीरीज एंड दिस इज द नबार्ड स्पेशल सीरीज एंड दिस इज वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर अपकमिंग नबार्ड ग्रेड ए एग्जामिनेशन इन आवर थर्ड लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी इन इंडिया यू कैन वॉच लेक्चर वन एंड टू इन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल नबार्ड हैज अनाउंस डेट ऑन फिफ्टींथ जनवरी नबार्ड ग्रेड ए एग्जाम रजिस्ट्रेशन विल स्टार्ट Educare 247 has launched crash course for NABARD grade A examination. In this crash course, general awareness, current affairs will be covered, economic survey, budget, economic and social issues, current affairs, government scheme, report published by different ministries, government scheme of different ministries will be covered, static portion of ARD will be covered, current affairs of ARD will be covered, summary of Yojana and Kruchetr will be covered. Computer awareness static portion will be covered. The course of this fee is two thousand four hundred ninety nine. So what are you waiting for? Already serious student have started their preparation. So you can visit educare two four seven dot com and subscribe the course for NABARD Grade A examination. Let's discuss why we are discussing agro biodiversity. What is the context of agro biodiversity? Recently, Minister of Human Resource and Development released the Nutrition Garden Guidelines. It is for school students. Under this, important fruits and vegetables will be identified according to topography, soil, and climate. And under the school premises, nutrition garden will be developed. It will support the midday meal scheme. Other than that, it will develop the culture among the student. it will be helpful for their lifelong social numerical and presentation skill based on nutrition garden agro biodiversity can be contemplated all across the india to address the india's hunger issue so agro biodiversity can address india's hunger issue this is the important thing the question can come from nutrition garden initiative is the initiative of which of the following ministry so you have to remember that it has been started by ministry of human resources and development let's discuss what is agro biodiversity it is the result of interaction between environment genetic resources and management system and it also include practices used by culturally diverse people so whatever making agriculture useful comes under the agro biodiversity it comprises the diversity of genetic resources like varieties of different crops breeds of different animals it also include foods fodder fiber fuel and pharmaceuticals A species of all those things combined called agro biodiversity it also include diversity of non harvested species that is soil microorganism pollinators predators so whatever supports the agriculture production that is agro biodiversity in wider environment it also comprises forest aquatic system so whatever supports the agricultural activity called the agro biodiversity let's understand the benefits of agro biodiversity it increases productivity food security and economic return it reduces the pressure of agriculture on fragile areas forests and endangered species it makes farming system more stable robust and sustainable it also contributes to sound pest and disease management it conserves soil and increase natural soil fertility and health it reduces dependency on external input it improves human nutrition and provide sources of medicines and vitamins it conserve ecosystem structure and stability of species diversity so it contributes in many way there are multiple benefits of agro biodiversity let's see the significance of agro biodiversity for india india's agriculture is so diverse we have multiple breeds of animal and we have different species of rice and wheat in tamil nadu we have konamani rice in assam we have agni bora rice in kerala we have pokali rice we have balia wheat 
इन हिमाचल प्रदेश वी हैव गुच्ची मशरूम सो दीज आर द डाइवर्स स्पीसीज ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप इफ यूल सी द कैटल ब्रीड वी हैव फोर्टी टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कैटल वी हैव फिफ्टीन टाइप्स ऑफ वेफेलो वी हैव नाइनटीन टाइप ऑफ चिकन वी हैव फोर्टो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सिप सो यू कैन सी दैट इंडियाज एग्रीकल्चर डाइवर्सिटी नाउ हाउ दिस डाइवर्सिटी कैन हेल्प इट कैन हेल्प इन कॉम्बिटिंग हंगर इन ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स इंडियाज रैंक इज वन जीरो टू आउट ऑफ वन सेवनटीन क्वालिफाइड कंट्रीज सो हंगर इज डिफाइंड बाई क्रोनिक डिप्रिवेशन प्रोटीन हंगर हिडन हंगर बाई डिफिशियंसी ऑफ माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट एंड दिस डाइवर्सिटी कैन प्रोवाइड दिस माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट प्रोटीन कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड बाई दिस डाइवर्सिटी इट कैन ऑल्सो सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ माल न्यूट्रिशन फोर आउट ऑफ टेन इंडियन चिल्ड्रेन आर माल न्यूट्रिशन दे आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम स्टंटिंग और क्रोनिक अंडर न्यूट्रिशन सो इट कैन बी सॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी दैट्स वाई गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टार्टेड दैट गार्डन न्यूट्रिशन गार्डन प्रोग्राम नाउ वर्ल्ड वाइड ग्लोबल न्यूट्रिशन रिपोर्ट सेज दैट सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टीन मिलियन वुमेन एंड हाफ ऑफ इंडियन वुमेन आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनिमिक एनीमिया सो इट कैन ऑल्सो बी सॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी कैन हेल्प इन न्यूट्रिशन सेंसिटिव फार्मिंग एंड बायो फोर्टिफाइड फूड्स लाइक स्वीट पोटैटो प्रोवाइड्स विटामिन ए मोरिंगा प्रोवाइड्स द इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो न्यूट्रेंट सो दिस कैन बी यूज एज अ न्यूट्रिय सप्लीमेंट एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी कैन हेल्प अचीव यू एन सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल टू जीरो हंगर एंड अचीव बायोडाइवर्सिटी टारगेट so let's see the india's biodiversity in india there are three globally important agriculture heritage system that is gias worldwide there are 37 sites out of this 37 india has three sites one in kashmir that is saffron one in koraput that is traditional agriculture and one in kutanad that is below sea level farming India has total 811 cultivated plant and 902 of their wide relatives have been documented so you can see the india's biodiversity these days agro biodiversity is facing lots of challenges let's understand some challenges loss of crop genetic resources due to adopting new crop varieties without conserving traditional varieties like we have introduced bt cotton and it has destroyed the traditional varieties now we are working on high output breed of production of meat milk and eggs that is destroying our traditional breed foreign breeds mixing with indigenous breed leads to erosion of genetically diverse pool globally there are 2 lakh 50000 identified plant species and out of that 7000 have been historically used in human diets but now only three crops from the basis of world's agriculture and just three species of maize rice and wheat supply more than half the world's daily calories so you can see that we have been reduced to only three species out of 700 used species so these are the challenges agro biodiversity is facing these days hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video like share and comment in a comment section on which topic you want to see the video